During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. Right, your days are numbered, little rush plant. got a picture, a photograph um, that a pal sent of this whole area taken from, well, roughly where the camera is, looking back up the track. And well, I'll put it on screen now and you'll see how different this area used to look. It used to be incredibly biodiverse. Obviously there was a fenced off area just where the wall is where a vegetable patch used to be. But this was, as I say, biodiverse, thriving. And now it's just kind of got a bit of rushes growing up in the bog. But because of that photograph that Mandy sent, I was inspired to do more planting in this area. So I found a site on, on, on Tinternet um, called Puddle Plants and they were really good. They asked what, what kind of soil I had, what, you know, what direction it was facing, all, that, all the right sort of questions. So they sent me a bunch of 10 different plants. So I know there were yellow iris here before, so I've got yellow iris to put, to put here. I've got a couple of meadow sweet, which I'm happy with because meadow sweet is it's it's good medicinally. It's uh, you can use it like aspirin, except it's not as hard on your tummy like aspirin is. So hemp agrimony, sneezewort, devil's bit scabious, ragged robin, false fox sedge, marshmallow, and lady fern. Lady fern. So I'm just going to try and get a handle on some of the rushes, take the rushes out um, and just plant them. And in, in a year's time or so, maybe split them, try and uh, spread them out a bit, see how they do. I don't think the deer eat most of these. Don't know about all of them, but yeah, we'll see. Lady Fern. Ooh. Hemp agrimony, is it? Yes. Meadow sweet quite likes uh, a bit of running water, but. Sure, it'll grow fine. Here we are once more at the back of the house. When we first moved in, this trench was completely overgrown with weeds 
the mud was all the way up, well, maybe a couple of feet up there. Um, Scott cleared out the whole trench, but it's going to be an annual job just clearing out all of the leaf matter that's in it so that it doesn't do the same thing again and become really damp. It does, it does really work well though, it does the job when it's clean. for a visit. It's one of those jobs where you never think you're getting anywhere until you turn around and look back. Follow me. Hello, sheep. Don't know where all this roof felt keeps coming from. So. Just needs to rain now and clean it all off. But God, the amount of mud that was back in it. It's obviously, it's all falling from here. Yeah, washing down. And washing down and settling in. It's, uh, it's hard work, that. Knackered. Do some lunch? Brie helped. Fish pie for lunch, Brie. Well, when I say helped, she stood there looking at me and munched a bit of grass. It's about as helpful as a sheep gets, isn't it? This you know, where she's standing now, this this area all here, it, we've got to do something about that because uh, the amount of times that I fall down that, yeah, I it's just it's well. just mad. All this needs levelling out in some way. We try not to show them the back of the house, don't we? Well, it's a mess, isn't it? Come to this old crofting township with a, an old friend of mine who's visiting for a long weekend. She's off swimming over that way <laughs> in the Atlantic. Or is it the Minch? A bit too far south for the Minch. I don't know. All these houses in the background used to be a, a vibrant crofting community and now it's uh, empty. We 
had a massively generous, kind donation to our camera equipment fund from a gentleman in Germany, an American man called Robert. And uh, we can only say sincerely thank you from the bottom of our hearts to, to everyone that's uh, given so that we can buy new camera equipment, equipment which we now can. It's incredibly humbling and heartwarming to know uh, that there are such kind and generous people out there. It's a pretty cutthroat world out there at times, but it's also a, it's really nice that you all appreciate what we're doing. And we really hope that you enjoy seeing this beautiful, beautiful part of the world in, in 4K, which will be coming very soon. Right, well, this morning, and it is quite early for us to be cracking on, but we've got so much to do today. I'm doing a job that uh, Katie has been hounding me to do. Hounding? How dare you? Uh, for months and 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 months. <laughs> Um, uh, how do we do this? Do you want to just come round here? Don't tell me what to do. Oh, the join here, where the, the wooden uh, kitchen extension is joined to the side of the building here. On the roof, the, uh, the connection point is terrible. It just rains. When it rains, it comes through. And then when it rains really hard, it really pours through the join between the... the uh, Old well, and new. It, it's the old, old well, this well, is the old building, isn't it? That extension there was built when? About the 50s, probably, yeah. 40s, maybe. And then to make it even more complicated, this extension was built in the last seven years. Yeah. So it's the this extension and the, the connection between this one and that one, that's the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up on the roof, finally... Thank you and sort it out but actually before I do that let's talk a bit more about this Jim so, knew exactly what it was yeah Jim when he turned up said it's not a mattock and he explained to us precisely what this is do you want to take over he said it's a it's a boat builders tool a boat builders adds it's for um, shaping logs and shaving bark and it would have been incredibly sharp. He also said it's extremely old. That's why this is so spatulated. It's for the... And but, but you, do it, you do it in between your legs like well, you would... Like this? Yeah. And this side would have been incredibly sharp. For getting bark off logs. And it's called an ADS. Mm -hmm. We don't know how you spell that. It's A-D-S or A-D-Z. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like he said, incredibly old. Much older than I thought it was. And unfortunately, folks, it's not a mattock. But anyway, uh, well, I'm not actually going to use this. I'm going to eventually, whenever I've got the time, I'm going to clean this up and bring it back to life from the point of view of displaying it. So I'll, I'll do the antiques restoration job on it and uh, hang it on the wall, maybe outside or whatever. But that's... So that's what that is. It was interesting to find that out because... I wasn't convinced it was a mattock. I think right. you're stalling. What? I think you're stalling. For what? That you don't have to get on the roof. No, I'm not stalling, no, because we've got to show them in here, haven't we, exactly what we're talking about. It's easier. So the light levels are probably playing up completely now, but this is, this is the connection point here, along here. And you can see the damp where it keeps coming through. So, not every time it rains, just sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's the direction, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think. And it, it came through when it hailed that time, when it melted, because that hail was insane. Uh, tools for the job already. Laid out by your glamorous assistant. 
Um, you're thinking, what? Oh yeah, what? What? It's like the perfect tool for the job. So we've got some flash band, got some sticky goo stuff and some other tools. Let's get on with it. It's flash band primer. This was the thing that we, uh, we couldn't find, but we found it. So yeah, the next time you'll see me, I'll be on the roof. Could you say action? Action. With more... Action! Oh, that was right in my ear. Oh, that's made my ear ring. Oh. Have you looked up here before? No. Do you want the camera? There's moss growing in the, the uh, connection point. And look at this, look at, I mean, I'm sorry, but look at that. What is my point? The two bits of roofing don't join at all. There's no wonder it's leaking as badly as it is. Got any roofing anecdotes while I'm here? I can't see I've done any roofing, not having a head to height. No, I've, uh, I don't have any either. So all this that I'm cleaning out here is just like, not like this, it's foam that was put underneath the two of them. It's just so obviously the adhesive has got is sticking to the roof and not to the foam. Right, this has all got to dry before I can uh, stick that stuff to it. What is that stuff? Flashing? What is it? Flash bands, yeah. Lawn seed and wildflowers, which you've been sending us as gifts. I'm sowing the wildflowers in the hope that the sheep don't just eat what's here when they come up, but this will be a bit of an experiment in this area. So I'm also gonna sow it with grass seed.
brakes are a bit squeaky, aren't they? Yeah, it needs a service. Oh. Yeah, all right, your old bones. It's my back. I don't know what I've done to the middle of my back. It's a, it's a new injury, this one. New on me. Right. Oh. We've found something, haven't we? Yes. Best one yet. Uh, quite some size, this one. Um, Gonna have to cross up there, aren't we? You can hear all the... There's a little creek there. Well, what about that there? If we walk around there, go that way. Okay. All right. Okay. It's cold. I'm cold. Do you want to borrow my scarf? wondering if you can see the other one that we went to from, from where we are now, but you can't. So, we... Uh, it's another fine bog you've got me into. I found, I found this on Google Earth, didn't I? And we haven't been able to see it at all because of the vegetation. They, these must be, these are lazy beds. You see how they're... If you, uh, well, you can see them going down this way like this and on uh, Google Earth um, I'll put a photograph in now or a screenshot of Google Earth you can see these perfectly these lazy beds spread all the way around there and the reason that they're here is because obviously homestead homestead schoolhouse and what we're about to walk to so they this were all ma cultivating a massive amount of potato bed oh they are huge look at the furrows yeah so they would have um, they ploughed these with oxen. These are five foot across. Yeah. They ploughed them with horse or oxen or... Well, no, I mean, they, look at the furrows. They wouldn't they, have ploughed it. Well, how have they dug these? By hand. Really? Yeah. All that way? Yeah. It's the only way to cultivate uh, in, a, in marsh like this, is to make the beds higher. Oh great, look at this bit. It's uh, very washed out looking, isn't it? What not, with the grass? Yeah, not long and it'll... Uh, well, in a, in, in a couple of months time, you won't be able to see any of this. No, you we'll won't even be able to come through here because of the uh, the fern bracken. We'll uh, we'll not be able to explore so much. Uh, Can you see it up there in the trees? See the there's a flat line of a roof. He's off. Hello, little frog. <laughs> I found a little friend. Can it? Can it? Right, I'm going to cross this bog. What was those uh, Cadbury's chocolates? Yeah, they're called Freddy. Freddy the Frog. There's Freddo. Freddo. <laughs> Don't know why that came to mind. They were quite they nice back when Cadbury's was nice. We uh, we found this, didn't we, as well, when we were coming back from this the other day. Uh, and it's another... Oh, I don't say it's a deer wallow, but this is where they've been... Hanging out, eating shoots. God, look at it, how flat it is compared to everywhere else. That's the, that's where the deer. Oh yeah. 
the D3. Quite a lot of water here. You still can't really see it. It's in a fine spot. I mean, if it wasn't for the trees around it, but obviously the trees wouldn't have been there when it was built. It's just, there's no wonder we didn't see it. There's no way you're going to see this. You can't even see it now, let alone when there's all the vegetation. I don't think much of their front drive though. Bit of a climb. If you'd have told me a year ago, this time last year, yeah, remember where we were, what was going on, mm -hmm. that I'd be wandering around the highlands of Scotland filming a YouTube channel. I'd have said, you're off your, you're off your trolley. It was, it was so far with my scope of like probabilities. What Let's about you? This. this is what the deer are eating. Whatever this is coming up, bluebells by the looks of it. I, I, uh, I just marvel at how the twists and turns that your life takes. It's, it's um. Yeah, what, one. Oh yeah. Two. It, oh, so this is their driveway. So this is this is they've, driveway. They've, they've marked out their path, haven't they? Yeah. There, are, there are stones standing up like this, like the back of a. What's the name of that dinosaur? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. So they've marked out their pathway going down. There'll be some on this side, but they're all, they're all, all covered over. Yes, the, the twists and turns that your life can take if you're bold enough to seize an opportunity. Oh. This, is, this is amazing, this place. Well, we've set the camera up so you can get a full view. We'll bring you in closer shortly. But there are two livestock, livestock pens. barns or buyers or pens or whatever on either side of this. And which makes it substantial. Yeah, makes it massive, doesn't it? The, and the, the most amazing thing about it is um, it, it's not fallen in. Like all of the other ones have fallen in or had stones robbed away. This is, you can see where they would have, where they just, it's like they lifted the roof off and just left. You've got a bit of collapse on that window. You've got a, a collapse on the door. But other than that, it's, it's, you know, it's a pain with these two trees because these two trees are going to undermine it the bigger they get. Must have been a thatched roof for there to be, you know, nothing nothing existing of it. It's, uh, and this would have been, you know, the, the lintel would have been probably here. So it, it is all really incredibly intact for such an old croft. Probably part of the lintel that's laying down there on the floor. The other thing over here is, if you want to come and look. That bog down there is substantial. So, so you're thinking peat bog? Uh, well, I think they, they may have been cutting peats from there and it's just become really waterlogged. Because even for a highland bog, that's uh, it's quite, it's quite deep and waterlogged. How convenient to just cut peats from there and bring them home. Have a look in the animal pen. It's, uh, it's so well preserved, this one, isn't it? It's just incredible. It's the, it's the best one. That's in the immediate vicinity of... Uh, of the cottage. And also, if you have a look just beyond over there. Oh, there's another one. So this was a proper little community. We'll Is this what it. you saw from the hill the other day? You know how you tried to find something and you thought it was rocks? Could it have been that? Well, I was over there. I was over in that direction on the hill. You can't see it through the trees. So yeah, there is every possibility that that was what I saw. And then when I got down here, I got distracted because I walked, well, at that time, I yeah, remember the episode, I walked off into the bog, yeah, looking for this place. And I walked in that direction as the camera is tracking now. 
But I went over that hill there, the smaller one, not the larger one in the background. And I probably just missed it completely. I didn't see that there. Come and have a look what I just found. Do you know like uh, any stories, folklores, about when they used to build these things and used to build the dry stone walls, that they, the, the guys that were working on them, um, when they had drinks and they had uh, sandwiches or whatever it was that they were eating, uh, they would put the bottles in the walls. Yeah. Have you heard about this? Yeah. <laughs> what is is there a there are obviously there's a ritual around this i don't exactly know what that ritual is so i'll have to look it up but that's an old black beer bottle from I mean, we can assume from when this was built. Well, we need to keep our eyes peeled for things when we're... I mean, there isn't much to go on. I'll take some photographs of it. It's usually the bottoms that you want rather than the tops. But no one's... No one's done this recently. No, there's lichen growing on the glass. Right, so... Um, I'll take some photographs of that, but I'll put it back where it was, how it was. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have seen it if I wasn't understanding, listening to you talking about that moss. Take you into the living room. Massive big of bit of quartz there. You could move in here quite easily. And they would have been able to spy on their neighbours over there. Same setup that we have, and the sheep on the side of the house. I've never seen one of these with uh, two of these on either side. This is the only bit that's collapsed. still quite overgrown with the uh, with the fern isn't it so Bracken. difficult to walk in that one it's 
This moss looks like it's got frost on it. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at the one on the back. Right. We just tried walking over there, but unfortunately all this down here is all marshland and bog. And it's just, uh, it's just not worth the risk. Well, there's not a big of a risk. I just, we just don't want to get soaking wet. So Again. that'll be another time. So this is it from the back. Well, not only is that the best one, it's one of the closest ones to us, it's still on the mainland, um, but you know the issue with metal detectors, I don't know if uh, people have thought about this, but I have every time we come to these places, it's the terrain. Can you imagine how hard, well we know how hard it is digging this terrain because we dig it up at the, uh, the cottage. All the rocks and... Everything as well. It's like if it's not on the surface, digging around here is going to be... Well, hey, one thing we haven't thought about, permission. Yes, permission. We need to get permission from the landowner, don't we? It ain't our land. Well, we know who he is, so we could always ask. Go 50-50 on any hordes of silver. <laughs> uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie's gold. Bonnie Prince Charlie's sword. Well, here we are again. Here we are. The Hang end. on a minute. You're, are you, 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 you going to look taller than me in this? Oh. You are, are you? I'll, I'll, I'll have to stand on this. <laughs> um, I wanted to say a personal thank you to Robert, who donated half, over half, yeah, of what we had. We ordered the camera and the lens yesterday. Uh, we were really chuffed, didn't we, because we got the camera for such a, a really good price on Amazon EU. And then we stalled, didn't we? We didn't order the lens and we got up in the morning and the lens had gone up 120 pounds. It was but, still a steal. Yeah, the camera, we got the camera, uh, a fifth off. So they'll be arriving soon and you'll all see a massive difference, we hope. But there is going to be, what we'll do is when we get them, obviously we'll film getting them. We don't do unboxing videos, so we won't do an unboxing video, but uh, there is going to be a transition period because we've got... But we will do an unboxing video, but not we've, an unboxing video. No, we don't. We don't do, do, you, do you remember Trevor and Simon? We don't do duvets. Mm -hmm. We don't do boxing videos. <laughs> Unboxing video, sorry. Anyway, the uh, it's going to take us a while to learn how to use this kit because we're both pretty much illiterate when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll get it, we'll study it, we'll do some test runs with it. We might even show the test runs in later episodes, but I would, I would think for at least the next few weeks. I mean, we don't know exactly when we're going to get the camera, do we? No, it's not dispatched it yet, so... It's coming from mainland Europe. Yeah, it's coming from the EU. So, um, yeah, we'll, there's going to be, all I'm saying is there's, there'll be a transition period. So you're not going to see us using that full time for, I would say, another two, three weeks till we get used to it. We, we've, we've got to get the gimbal, which is hugely important because we have like a camera, but the lens is huge. So, you know. We need a gimbal. Stabilisation. So we need the gimbal and we need a tripod for it. Those two things have yet to be purchased. So, yes, Robert, um, I don't know what to say. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this position, so we're... Well, if it wasn't for all of you, we wouldn't be in this position. Yeah, but, um, the rest of them got half got you made me. There. You made me look like I'm not thanking everybody else, and I am thanking everybody else. I'm just saying that specifically, Robert pushed us over the line. You know... 
Well, that uh, Robert's uh, donation was the single biggest donation we've ever had for anything. So it, it does work. It, you know, he, he warrants fireworks. Do you know what I mean? We're, of course, we're grateful to everybody else. But... So, uh, what else is going on in the episode? Well, I've got a bunch of gardening done. You Achieved did. stuff in the garden. You got to see your friend Laura. Yes, Laura came and went. We had, like, more visitors last week to this island than we've had ever. Than we've had in the whole time that we've been here. <laughs> which was, uh, which was interesting. Why are you looking at me like that? You're looking at me like I'm going to say something bad. I won't say anything bad. Laura gets invited back as well. Um... Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, probably Thursday, we're off up to Inverness. Yes, the next episode should be all off island. We, we haven't been anywhere, have we? Apart from Fort William, since we've been here. So I'm, I, I'm personally looking, really looking forward, because I know Inverness. Leaky's Bookstore, <laughs> uh, the cathedral. You're going to get your tie-dye surf gear for your surfing. Uh, endeavours. No, the... you, this is this is a joke between you and Laura or whatever. No, you and Laura's joke is me getting chaps for the... For the chainsaw. For but the chainsaw, But we want you yeah. to get, like, get like, ridiculous fancy dress costume, colourful... Tasseled. Yeah. Cowboy chaps. Yeah. yeah Maybe some your... sheepskin. I'm glad that you two laugh at my expense. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Inverness. We're going to look at uh, some antiques. Um, Small things that we can bring back and restore and sell on, or potentially books, if we find books. Well, what, the, the, the whole thing with the getting the antiques business back up and running is a necessity. We just don't know if there's any way we're going to be able to do it. Because we dealt in massive furniture, which is... <laughs> forget it. It's not happening. Well, if we had a boat... We might be able to sort that out. Oh, do you, would you want to, no. though? Oh, no, I wouldn't. The courier it's hard problem enough is, moving in. Well, you can't, we can't get couriers anyway to shift the stuff, not for a decent price. So, yeah, it's going to be focusing on smalls, which is something that we've never done. So my point is, I don't know whether or not we're going to be able to pull it off, but we're going to go and give it a go, see what we can... We need to find some new suppliers. Uh, and unfortunately for us, Inverness is the closest we can go where there are multiple... Actually, places to buy well, from. There's, what's the one called on the outside of Inverness? Not uh, Aldern Antiques. What's the other one? I can't remember. Neither can I. And then there's the one in Dingwall. But the one in Dingwall is a bit expensive. So, anyway, Leaky's Bookstore. I well, want to do some charity shopping. Hopefully, we can get stuff that we can show you us restoring and then. I don't know, maybe, maybe if there's anything you like, then you can send us a wee message and. Buy it from us. Buy it from the Scottish Isle. Scottish Isle Antiques. Scottish Isle Antiques. Sounds quite nice. Nice ring to it. Do, do you really think that with your planting that the deer and the sheep are just... I just think the sheep and the deer are going to devour the whole lot. The sheep aren't going to go in the bog. They no, don't like getting no, their feet dirty. Especially brie. The deer don't care. They won't eat all of the plants that are there. Some of them they won't be interested in. I don't know about 100% of them. Maybe. We'll see. And the wildflowers on the top. Depends if the sheep eat them or not. We just have to get some. Imagine trying to keep them off. It's not happening, is it? They're going to eat it. They will. They'll eat them. I know they will. I'm not being negative, but I just know sheep. They eat anything. She, she devoured the last of her daffodils the other day. Oh. We didn't finish the roof. We didn't show them the finish of, finishing off of the roof. But there's a reason for this. Uh, we're going to have to pick that up in a later episode because we had a product failure. Product failure. The, uh, after, I'd, after you see me painting it with the, uh, the adhesive. Which like, turned out not to be an adhesive. No, it's, uh, <laughs> we didn't realise. I didn't look no, at it. No, it is, it is the exact right thing for it. Yeah, it's but what I didn't look at the, the tub to find out what the sell-by date was or use-by date. And this thing is like so out of its, uh, its time that it should have been chucked away a long, long time ago. 
um, so the flashing wouldn't wouldn't stick. So all that work, all that cleaning up and everything else and all that painting and it was like got to the actual finishing of the job and it was like nothing, nothing worked. So we've got to buy new adhesive and new flashing. New flashing. Not fletching. <sighs> anything else? Can you think of anything funny to say to end with? You got any jokes? Got any jokes about barnacles? No, I don't know any jokes about barnacles. I don't like barnacles, they've always freaked me out a bit. Two biscuits walking down the street. Have I told you this one? I told you this one. Right, two biscuits walking down the street, and one turns to the other and says, Where do you live anyway? No, I'll, I'll start again because I've got the, the inflection wrong. So, I've got a joke. Ready? Two biscuits walking down the street. One turns to the other and says, where do you live? And the other one says, I'm not telling you, you'll pinch my washing. <laughs> that's, that's the funny, that is, do you know when somebody told me that? I cried laughing. Nobody else gets it. Why are you laughing? You know, you don't laugh off camera. Make me look an idiot. An underthinker. Under That's a funny joke. <laughs> you think it's a funny joke? Is it, was it where I told it? <laughs> <laughs>